Okay, let's keep going. Today is iconic. It's euphoric. Man, I'm shaking so much, it's goddamn tectonic. E equals zero. And you're probably thinking, what the heck does that mean? Right? WRONG! See, I know at least 20% of our audience knows exactly what I'm talking about. But, for those of you without the patience to watch the blackboard videos or read the white papers, blah blah blah, it means we are now 100% decentralised. Every single block now created by our community. I, like a mad chef, have sliced and diced Charles's video to give you guys the juiciest segment to wet your lips on. So without any further ado, D equals zero. It is a special day. It's a special epoch. We have now entered the full Ouroboros Prouse era of Shelley. We were in the hybrid era. We were running both OBFT and we were running Prouse and epic by epic. You guys saw the system get gradually more decentralized. And now 100% of all block production is done by stake pools run by you, the community. This is it. The whole network is in completely in the hands of the stake pool operators. And those operators have shown over the last uh, six months that they can do as good or in many cases a better job than the BFT nodes. Uh, and that's incredibly encouraging. The end result will be that the CIP process, the hard fork combinator, uh, and uh, the update protocols will end up becoming a matter of public debate and uh, a matter that goes beyond a federation of core developers, like it is in the Bitcoin world and the Ethereum world and other things, to a truly decentralized government. And my belief is that the social dynamics are evolving in a way that that uh, government will have the wisdom, foresight, and collective intelligence necessary to navigate the great challenges that are coming to the cryptocurrency space. For example, as quantum computers wake up and they begin actually running general purpose computing, they will become a threat to cryptography. And as a consequence, they are a threat to classical cryptocurrencies. We have some ideas as a company and as academics about how to combat that threat. But it requires the collective intelligence of a marketplace of ideas and a tireless community to transform those ideas into protocols and reality that actually run in your Daedalus wallet or your Roy wallet or the other wallets in the ecosystem. Up in rough and rugged Wyoming, the blocks that are being made, some of them are by a stake pool operated by members of the University of Wyoming, the first academic institution in the world to run a stake pool for any cryptocurrency. And that trend is going to continue. This movement will eventually become the financial operating system of the world. And that will enable countries, individuals, the rich and the poor to work together to actually create a world where it's fair, a world where we get to do things in a transparent, accountable way, as opposed to an opaque, corrupt way. A world where the least amongst us have access to the same services as the best, the wealthiest, the most powerful. You're all contributing to this in your own way. It could be as little as selling a t-shirt, creating a sticker, sending a letter of support, to as complex as building the DeFi applications millions of people will use in the years to come. All we had to do was just push that first domino. Tagline of my company is cascading disruption. It's not really a hard concept. Somebody has to light the fuse. And if you follow it long enough, you get to the dynamite. And that's what we did together as one community. And today is a day we can all take reflection to that. We can wake up tomorrow with our hearts in the right place, our minds thinking hard, and roll up our sleeves and continue the work. There are many years to come. And as I've mentioned, I'm a pretty young guy. The best years of my life, I'm going to spend working here, doing these things. And I cannot wait to see what you build with me as my partner and my friend. 
So if you guys enjoyed this content, please leave a like at the bottom of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, take it easy. When I was a CEO, I had a, an array of masculine sneezes that asserted dominance. You know, like the explosive shock the room and the silence sneeze, the... Oh, come on, fails!